Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter Neil. Um, today I went out um, to a car boot sale buying up in Abgaveni and Gavailon. Now I've already done the video showing you my car boot sale buys and these are actually in there. Now why I'm doing a separate video on these is to show you there's more than one use. You can't just retail them and if you can't sell them you're stuck with them. That's the joys of buying brass. Now as you, if anybody watched the video earlier um, that I made, you'll know that I've job lotted a collection together. I had some miners lamps and um, a miners plate for the strike and what I decided to do was some of these miners, these brass figures, I job lotted them into one make one big collection so you got ceramics, you got the brass figures, you got the miners lamps. And I'm going to put it up for 100, but well, between 100 and 125 pound, realistically, for the entire collection. So that's one option you have, as in you can use these to make groups and collections and make something more interesting. That group will certainly stand out far more than just putting two miners' lamps on to say we have a mining collection. Um, next, then, obviously, you have the retail now. A large miner like that's going to be about 20 25 pound if you want to retail it out. This entire job lot, so we're we talking two, four, six, seven figures, cost me 20 pound this morning at a car boot sale. Do you think that sounds a lot? Because I think it's for nothing. I know you got one or two little small ones here. Um, this one here, I'll give you a little close up in a few minutes. This is an early one. Um, it's a Victorian gentleman and the way it's cast and made and the colour of the, the metal and the weight I'd say this is a Victorian bronze or brass um, so I'm going to look into this one, this one could be worth a bit of money you'll be surprised when I show you the weight just on this one alone so obviously you have the retail, you have the job lots where you can group stuff to make it more interesting excuse me or then the one thing nobody likes but it's money you have scrap now let's say I've put these out for 20 pound oh I bought them in for 20 pound rather and I'm asking 5 and 10 and 20 pound or whatever I want to ask if I wanted to say 10 pound each 10, 20, 70 quid nothing wrong with ask 50 pound of it and to be totally honest with you they would fly out at a 10 or each however Let's say for argument's sake they didn't sell for ten pound each, and they didn't sell for five pound each. What did I do then? Well, one of the securities of buying brass, copper, silver, or gold is you can weigh it in. It'll always have an intrinsic value. Now, brass it was about one pound eighty a kilo, two pound a kilo last time I checked. Don't know what it is now. It fluctuates daily. I haven't checked. Um, what it is right now, but if you work on two pound a kilo, you ain't gonna go far wrong. So we'll weigh this up now, and we'll see how my investment is against what I've spent. Okay, guys, I'm hoping you can all see the scales and the dial clearly now. There's the dial. Um, as I've said, you're talking two pound a kilo for scrap, and I've paid twenty pounds. So I need this to be ten kilos for my money back. There's seven figures. What's the chances of that? Slim, probably. There's over half a kilo on the first. Multiply that by seven, not looking good. However, we start getting bigger. There's two kilos. Too heavy for my scales. So there's just under two kilos. So we've got 1.9 and 2.6 so we'll say that's four kilos another two kilos give or take so six too heavy to weigh I'd say it's at least three kilos so we'd say that's nine kilos another kilo and a half ten and a half kilos too heavy to weigh again. 
and this one I'd actually say is heavier than the large. So if we said that's another three kilos, um, then you're talking, I'd, I've lost count, so we're about 25 kilos, um, are we? No. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a half. So about 13 kilos, sorry. Um, so you work that out at £2 a kilo, you're talking £26, you get the message. Now this one, I've said I'm going to give you a little close-up. This one's got to be 3 kilos on its own. If you look at the colour of the uh, brass, I think it was originally bronze, it's been over cleaned. It's very heavy. We have a solid cast piece of brass. And I'm not kidding you, this is seriously heavy. Um, you can see all the, um, the sort of pitting and everything from the way it's been cast. If I give you a comparison of this and a modern piece, you can see the difference in the casting. Look how smooth the casting is here in comparison. And look at the details on mine. I do think this one is a bronze. It's a Victorian gentleman, or even earlier. That actually looks like a sailor's cap, a captain's cap. So it could be a navy man. Um, but I really do rate that piece. So we'll just see what happens. There we have it, guys. You have to look at the um, boxes of brass on the floor and think, where's the risk? Pick it up, have a good feel. If it feels good and heavy, you know, get used to handling five or ten kilos of brass. You know, if you've got any set of weights in the house, you like doing a bit of bench pressing or curling, have a good feel of that ten kilo weight, uh, or five kilo or one kilo. Um, you haven't got to be exact when you're weighing the stuff. All you've got to know is, do you think you're most of your money safe? Obviously, there ain't no problem in selling any of these pieces. They're all good quality pieces. But if I got it home and they were all rubbish, does it really matter? There's a small profit here if I want to take them down my local scrapyard and melt them in. Um, this one here, I do think, could be up a 40 or 50 pound piece of bronze that's been over polished. Um, I'm going to do a bit of research on this one, so I won't let this one go. The miners will go with the miners lamps and the plate and make a nice collection, which leaves me then the blacksmith, the man playing the uh, squeeze box, and of course the um, pipe, uh, the man with the pipe on the bench. It's a nice little group. I'll make a good uh, turn on them. But the point I'm trying to get across in this video is you go out, you buy ceramics, you got a risk of them getting broke in the post, then you've got to know, does anyone even want it? Most ceramics, unless you buy in 18th and early 19th century, are mass produced. And if there's 100 people selling the same item as you on eBay, the only chance you've got to sell in it is if you're cheaper than them. So you end up giving the stuff away for no money. At least with brass, a lot of it's already been melted down, and if you can't sell them, you can melt it yourself. Your money's back, you're safe, there is no gamble. If I was to sell one or two of these figures for my money back, and put the rest in the melting pot, it wouldn't matter, it really wouldn't. You know, got good weight in a couple of these figures. Um, so I'm more than happy with my investment. There's no risk whatsoever. £26 to £30 return on a £20 outlay. Show me a bank that uh, you can walk into, put £20 in and you could, I could drive home and scrap these on the way home, so an hour. Uh, and make between £6 and £10 on your 20 It ain't going to happen. It's not big money, but at the same time, I'm just showing you a way that your money is safe. You can deal in brass, you can deal in silver, you can deal in gold. If you buy it at the right money, which is under scrap, first of all you try and retail it, and once you can't retail it, you can just get rid. 
let someone else have the worry of getting that extra money off it. You just get your money back and invest in someone else. Anyway, guys, I think that's uh, about all I wanted to say for this video. It was more show you, you know, brass ain't gonna get broke in the post. Yeah. If they're not happy, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna cost you. Just send it back and melt it in wherever you want. So, hope you found it interesting. If you did, I would appreciate the like and the share, guys. Um, coming up to 120, 125 videos online now. Um, I'm just about to break my uh, 10,000 views uh, on YouTube, so I am very grateful for all your support. Um, that's quite an achievement. 10,000 views in, I'd say it's about seven weeks since I've been making the videos. So I really am grateful for all your help on there. Um, don't forget, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. You'll find us on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. And we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.